A nine-year-old from Mississauga has broken three Guinness World Records for her incredible talent with a hula hoop. The grade four student has spent hours practicing tricks and the effort has certainly paid off. She was recently flown to the United Kingdom where she performed them at Guinness World Record headquarters. So let's meet this young phenom and her mom. We're joined now by Mamathy Vinoth and her mother Karambari. Thank you to both of you for joining us today. Thank you. Well, first of all, I want to say a huge congratulation. And now I want to hear all about how you did it. So first of all, Mamathy, how did you feel when you first got an invitation to go to the UK to perform hula hooping in front of that Guinness team? That sounds like a lot of pressure. I was really amazed and happy because I, mean, I never knew I would reach a big level of actually going to United Kingdom to the headquarters to perform uh, records. I was so happy and it was my really proud moment. We're looking at some of it now. So as we're chatting to you, we're able to see you competing and your feet move so fast. It's incredible. I gather you were ho you were visiting relatives in India on a holiday. Is that right? And you were performing there and someone from the Guinness Book of World Records saw you and that's how you got invited. Is that right? Yeah. So tell me, how many hours a day do you practice this? I would practice like two hours a day. That's a long time. Yeah. How do you fit that in with, with all of your schoolwork and everything else? Um, no, normally I would finish my schoolwork first. <laughs> and then after, after like at nine o'clock, eight o'clock or something, I would start practicing for two hours. That's a busy day. Mom, you must be so proud. Um, she's really managing time management at a very young age as well. Tell me how this has been for your family, this whole journey. Uh, actually, she'll be feeling a little bit dizzy by the end of the day. But even though she wanted to achieve this, she will be practicing heavily daily for two hours. And Karambari, I, ga I gather that you also, maybe she got it from you. You used to hula hoop when you were young as well? Uh, I used to dance hula hooping. I started uh, recently before 10 years. So it looks like it runs in the family. So Mamathy, tell me what is some of the hardest tricks, what are some of the hardest tricks that you had to practice for this Guinness World Record competition? Oh, one of the really hardest one was doing peacock scale and doing a hula hoop in the knees. It was really hard because I had to balance and take my whole leg on top of my head. So that was the really hardest trick. <laughs> and I had to make sure I didn't drop the hoop while I was doing a hoop in the knees. Oh so my I, gosh. That, that sounds very complicated. What is it that you love? The, I gather that you, like your mom, you also love to dance. Uh, you like gymnastics. What is it about hula hooping that you love so much? I like hula hooping because it's a nice sport. And, and, and it's, it gives you nice energy. Ah, that's a good way to put it. And that's what we all need, right? To get ourselves through a busy day at school and in life. And tell me, where do you want to go with this? Are you hoping to do more as you get older with the hula hooping and gymnastics, maybe combining it somehow? Yeah, I really want to, when I grow up, I really want to reach the Olympics in uh, rhythmic gymnastics. Rhythmic gymnastics, that yeah. The Olympic representing Canada. That sounds like a perfect goal. What do you think of that, Mom? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because the young age, she wanted to achieve more, more, more. She wanted to go to next step. So we are really so proud of her. Yeah, the whole family must be so proud. And I just want to ask you, I want to ask you if you could do us a little favor and give us a little bit of a demonstration. But first, just one quick question. I gather that, Mamatha, you kept this whole thing a secret from your school for a while. Why did you do that? I did that because I didn't want them to know until I was positively sure that all these records would be approved. Ah. But if they're not, so well, I just wanted to keep it until I'm positively sure. Well, there you go. And I gather you're going to be in the world record Guinness book that comes out in 2025. I want to thank you both and end by asking if you could give us a demonstration. And we'll definitely keep our eye on you for the Olympics in the future, okay? 
Yeah. Okay, thanks. Take it away.